Hey guys, Chris from Axe Effects Tutorials here, and I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to update the FC firmware on your FC12 or your FC6. Now, as the forum and the instructions on the downloads say, uh, most of the updates for the FC controllers are going to come through the Axe Effects firmware. So, you know, firmware 2. 0.05, we just got beta 3.0, that sort of thing. But from time to time, the actual firmware of the FC itself will need to be updated, and this is how you do that. So right now my FC is already turned on, so I'm in performance mode, I'm on one of my layouts, and so on. But let me power cycle the Axe FX and show you what it looks like when you start it up. So I'm turning off the Axe FX 3. It's always good to wait a few seconds when power cycling anything. So I'm going to turn it back on and watch the main screen up at the top of the FC 12. So when you turn it on, first you'll see Fractal Audio Initializing. Then after that, you'll see the name of your controller and the current firmware on the controller itself. And then the Axe FX will continue to load. And when the Axe is done loading, you'll get to your performance, your layout, or whatever you have um, selected. Now, at the time of this recording, 1.03 is the latest firmware for the FC itself. And if you don't have that, you need to update. So here's how to do it. What we need to do is hold a particular switch when we turn on the FC, but we can't hold the switch before we turn on the FC. We need to hold that switch only when we see fractal audio initializing on the display. It doesn't matter if you have an FC6 or an FC12, you want to hold this top left switch here. So again, you want to hold the switch only when you see fractal audio initializing. You don't want to hold the switch now before I turn on the axe. It won't work. So let me show you how to do it. I'm going to turn on the axe effects. And there we go. And now I hold the switch. And you have a good full second and a half, maybe two seconds to do it. And as you can see, it says fractal audio fail safe. That means I did it correctly. If you press the switch too late, or again, you hold it before you turn on the Axe Effects, this won't work. So turn on the Axe Effects, you'll pretty shortly see Fractal Audio initializing. That's when you press and hold this top left switch. Now, if you miss this or you mess up, no problem. Just wait for the Axe Effects to finish booting, turn the Axe Effects off again, and then just try again. Turn on the Axe, wait till you see Fractal Audio initializing, and then hold that top left switch. Real easy. Now we're in the fail safe mode, and this is just preparing the FC to receive the update. Now everything else from here is going to be from your computer and FractalBot. Okay, so we're here in FractalBot, and this is the next step. Typically when you use FractalBot, we're going to use the send tab and we select the device. We click here and we choose from the list, Axe FX3, FX8, whatever you have. You'll notice that it doesn't say FC6 or FC12 or anything like that. And that's on purpose. It's not supposed to be here. Now, before you do this, of course, make sure your Axe FX3 is connected to your computer with a USB cable. And of course, your FC needs to be connected to your Axe FX3 with an XLR cable. But what you need to do from here is instead of just clicking this list and looking for FC or something like that. If you're on a Mac, you're going to press and hold the command key on your keyboard. And if you're on Windows, you're going to press and hold the control key on your keyboard. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to press and hold my command key. And then when you click this list while holding that key, you'll see a new entry called utility. Now, once you see this list, you can let go of the control or command key on your keyboard. I'm just hovering the mouse over this. Go ahead and click utility and now you have that loaded. And if you're already on this list, you don't have to click off and do it again. You can just, while on this list, hold the control or command key, click it again, and utility will pop up. So anyway, go ahead and click utility, and then we need to select an output port. Clicking this, you should see Axe FX3 because it's plugged in. Uh, go ahead and click that. Now, once you click Axe FX3, a new parameter pops up called MIDI Buffer Delay. Make sure this says 300 milliseconds. It should, by default, it does this. But if you were messing around with the utility menu before for something else, um, just make sure you click and drag this and set it to 300. You can also just type it in 300. From here, it's the same thing. You're gonna browse or drag and drop the specific FC file onto this area. For this video, um, at this time, it's the FC release version of 1.03. So drop that in there, and then you're just going to click Begin. Now it's going to transfer that file. The progress bar is going to increase. You won't see any display on the Axe FX or the FC at all. You're only going to see this progress bar on your computer. So you're going to wait till that's done, and you'll get a pop-up saying the transfer is complete. Go ahead and hit OK. 
And then from here, what you need to do is power cycle your Axe FX3 one more time. So just turn off the Axe FX3 power, turn it back on, and watch your FC as it boots up. You're going to see Fractal Audio initializing, and then you should see the new version that you just loaded on your FC on the next screen. In my case, I already had 1.03 on it, so I can't show you any difference, um, but you should see the latest version that you just loaded on your FC screen, and that's it. You're good to go. Okay, that's it. Have fun.